How you all doing? I hope you're, everyone is enjoying this weather. Uh, the ponds after going up to 19 degrees in the last three or four days, which is great. You can also tell it's summer when the sand is out. I hate this stuff. And the kids' toys everywhere, but yeah, it's great having this weather. Hope everyone else is enjoying it. It's Friday, the 10th of April, and I have a few things happening this weekend. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll spin you around and show you. So you can see I have the front of the skimmer off. What was happening was I was throwing food down that end of the pond, but it was gradually making its way down here, and a lot of it was getting um, a lot of it was getting tied up in the skimmer. So I was talking to someone there, and what I'm going to do is just the top grid of the skimmer. I'm going to put some canvas there. So basically to block it, any of the, any of the kite food going through and roaming around the spit filter. What was happening was it was going in there and circling around in there because it wasn't being dragged down and the fish were going up and sucking off it. And I like some, especially the show there and he kind of scraping his lips when he's consistently sucking at the, at the skimmer there. So this way the food will get there, but it shouldn't go into the skimmer. I'll show you what I mean. Um, yeah, so the good thing about this skimmer is the face just slides out, so it's a lot easier to work with. Um, so I have that out, I have it cleaned, I have it dried, and what I'm going to do is cut this off just to cover the very first, just to cover the the first line there. And um, this is just plastic canvas used for embroidery and bits and pieces like that. I don't know knitting embroidery, <laughs> but it's plastic, so it shouldn't be any hassle. Um, I'm going to put it on the outside and that way it can't get, if I put it in the inside, it could get sucked in and then there'll be bits and pieces going there, but at least if it's on the outside, that shouldn't happen. Um, so I'll bring it up there and I'll cut along there and then I've got Tech 7 just to glue it in place. Yeah, so hopefully I do a neat job that doesn't look too bad and stand outish, but yeah, it'll save all the food going into the skimmer. And I will come back to you when that is done. So I have this done now, so you can see what I mean. It's just blocking the, it's just blocking the top one there and water still can get through, but the water level will be up to that top one. So we'll just stop all the pallets from going through. So I will leave that dry for, it's tech seven, so it's fish safe and everything like that. Um, I leave that dry and I'll put that in later. Um, the next thing I want to get done today is as you can see there the window is fairly filthy and the glass even the glass around it so i'm going to get that cleaned on the outside and the inside and also the one on the other side just get a few jobs done before saturday sunday rolls around Um, yeah you can see it's mainly just water stain but it's not so much algae inside it's just water stain so that shouldn't take too long i'll come back to you when that is crystally clear so there is the windows and glass clean for another week <laughs> um, yeah so the two of them windows are clean down now the next thing I'm gonna get it done is just some water tests I don't usually do them but just because I've been feeding a bit now and the, the filters are just basically way waking up so the ones that I'm going to do is KH pH Sorry, KH, ammonia, pH, and nitrite. Um, yeah, they don't even think it's eye test. So we'll see how things are looking. So you can see my ammonia is 0 0.25, which I'm not worried about at all. To be honest with you, this um, API, the API test kit, even testing normal water, it always kind of looks like that color, never really pure yellow. So I think that's fine. Um, then we have my nitrite which was a I, I was expecting the ammonia bacteria seems to get sorted fairly straight away but just let waiting on the nitrate one to nitrite one to catch up so the nitrate level is at kind of in between 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 but all i can really do is just keep feeding and battle through it and it should pick up eventually it was just with the winter period and also i did some pp treatments and uh malachite green treatment as well so it would have set back the bacteria but all i can do is keep feeding because if i stop feeding it won't get sorted but what you can do to eliminate eliminate the effects of moderate 
um, nitride is add salt to 0 0.3 which I think my pond could be at anyway but if it's a little bit less I'll top it up I'll check that with the salt meter um, KH was 0 point, it was 5.5 .5 drops which is fine um, I don't really let it go below 3 even 4 even 5 to, <laughs> to keep it up um, but 5.5 .5, which is fine and pH is at 8 where it always is so what I'm going to do now is check on my salt level in the pond. Just make sure it's at 0 0.3. The salt meter I use is the Kymetic one. Um, I like it because there's no calibrations running on it. It's just on on and ready to use. Um, so how you use it is see zero, but you have to get it flashing. And then dip it in the water, clean it off and dip. And you can see that, that the level is 0 0.3 two six so to get it just above 0 0.3 and the way i can work that out is on the kite control app on the kite control app you can actually say what level your son what level your pond is what's your desired level and what's your leaderage and they'll work out exactly how much to put in it um which is very cool like there's no mats in your head if any of you are like me terrible at mats it does nothing like that all you need is the leader the leverage of your pond, your desired salt level and your current salt level, and they'll tell you exactly how much to put in. So I'll go on the Kite Control app now and check that out. So the salt you're meant to use is the, the PDC, the Pure Dry Vacuum Salt, um, just its food grade salt. So from the calculations, if I added um, 9 kg, it would have brought me up to 0 0.32. So I added I didn't do measure out 9 kg, it's just a 25 kg bag and I put in roughly a third of it. It'd be there thereabouts, won't harm them if it's a bit over. And what I do is I don't um I don't mix with water before ending, I just throw it in like that. Um you see videos in Japan and they just throw it in the pond before the size salt. So yeah, throw it in, let it dissolve itself. And yeah, you can see all the fish. Fish are doing fine, just keep an eye on the nitrite. Um, keep an eye on the nitrite while I'm starting to feed as the weather's getting warmer. It's kind of a dangerous period, but it should kick in soon, hopefully. So that's salt in the pond. The next thing I'll do is I'll go in and show you the grow on fish that I purchased over the last few weeks and you can have a look at them and how they've settled in. Yeah, so I just threw in some food to them there. Um, got a bit carried away with Tulsi this year, but there's some nice fish in there and there's a nice mix as well just to see how they all develop into Kiyosagis, Kahaku, Kujaku, Shirotsuri, Karashikai, Chagai, uh, what else we got, Gurumo, Yamabuki, uh, Kinki Asori, yeah, so there's uh, Akamatsuba, Hiyasori, yeah, so there's a lovely mix of fish in there, so it'll be great to see how they develop. Uh, develop. They're going to be shy now that I'm in here. Um, so they're currently on an auto feeder being fed uh, six times a day. And the uh, pond is at 22 degrees, I believe now. That's on the Aqua 4 feeder over there. Yeah. Oh, and the Benny guy, lovely Benny guy as well. So you can see him there. There's the East uh, Shore for Cleary Aquatics growing show. So hopefully he puts on the size. I think it's gonna be a lovely fish. Look, I'd assume he's coming out and facing the many. So hopefully time will tell. Yeah, so all fishing here doing well. So I'd say the skimmer part is probably dry off now. So I get that into place. So I have the skimmer in place now so when I throw food in this side of the pond as you see there on top I'm acting a bit shy because I've got a camera on them but it gradually gets sucked down to the skimmer but you can see that it looks really tidy you wouldn't even really notice it so that won't be able to go into the skimmer now um, because of that so I'll just gather around the skimmer so they'll be able to eat up and there's no uh, sharp edges or anything on that so I'm delighted with that and it's still going to take all the foam everything off the top because the other holes beneath it are still full length so they'll be fine and there is 
as I've seen, it is small holes in it, just not enough for the pellets to get through. Yeah, though I'm happy, happy with that there. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look, but yeah, so I will probably leave it there for today. I'm saying it's today, today, just Friday afternoon after work. I'm going to spend a few hours here doing a few bits and pieces. Um, you can give me a like, a subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. And stay tuned in the next video. I'm going to be doing some pipe work there. What am I doing? Catch me on the next one.